Hey everybody, today's two minute tip is going to be about the ruler. So I want to just go through how to establish the, the settings for the ruler. I want to show you how to show multiple rulers. And then I also want to just talk about some of the things we can do with the rulers. So first of all, this is a setting inside your project settings. You can come through here and you can decide the project type. If you use a musical grid, the primary ruler will be split into bars and beats. If we turn this off, it goes into minutes and seconds. So that's the primary way to do this. Now, one thing to note is that if you turn this off, tempo information will no longer be recorded in audio files. And of course, part of that's because it's not referencing that tempo information. So let's turn it back on for now. But that's the main way to switch the primary ruler. And when I say primary ruler, because we can also, under view, this is the, the main window submenu, we can actually have a secondary ruler turned on. And this will actually have the minutes and seconds. Now this is also handy in some ways, uh, not only just for visual information, but if we're clicking our playhead, we can now click above and below that time one. If we click on the actual time one, it changes the actual cycle range. If we click on above or below, it will move our playhead. So we can have a secondary ruler now visible, which is actually pretty handy. The other thing in that same window would be to set up the marquee ruler, which is super handy. Without having to go to the marquee tool, we can make an overall global marquee selection. And so that's handy to have that up near the other ruler. Okay, that's it for the two-minute tip today. Hope you're having a great day. We'll do another one of these tomorrow.